Here in the Treasure State, humidity is not something we typically need to consider when it comes to our daily comfortability. However, as the days turn drier during summer, forecasting humidity becomes increasingly important to identify high fire danger days. Now, there are two ways we measure humidity, dew point temperature and relative humidity. But what do these values actually tell us? Relative humidity is an effective tool when looking at fire conditions. It is a measure of how much moisture the air can hold. However, it can be misleading when measuring how humid it feels outdoors due to the fact that the amount of moisture an air mass can hold changes based on the temperature. Let's say the current temperature is 35 degrees with relative humidity at 50%. That same relative humidity at a higher temperature equates to substantially more moisture. If we keep the same relative humidity but raise the temperature to 70 degrees, significantly more moisture will be present in the atmosphere and the air will feel a lot less comfortable. The warmer the air, the more moisture the air can hold. The dew point is the better indicator of how comfortable the air is. It is the temperature the air needs to be cooled in order to reach saturation, at which point either it will be raining or fog forms. In Montana, dew points typically stay below 60 degrees throughout the year. Above that is where it begins to feel muggy, and once you reach a dew point of 70 degrees, it becomes downright oppressive. As you head out the door the next several days and check in with your Storm Tracker weather app, you'll now be able to get an accurate idea of just how humid it is, hopefully sparing you a bad hair day. Reporting in Great Falls, Eric Johnson, MTN News.